Hey guys, welcome back to Enigmatica to Expert Mode. I'm just in the middle of nowhere. I was um, exploring a little bit on my own the other day and I seem to have a little bit of issues with the server, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what it is, but sometimes in the log it just spams that Thorncraft aura is taking too long or something, which is weird. And then the server just like doesn't react for a while. Like it just kind of shuts down on itself and after I like, restart it. Not sure why, always something isn't there. Um, so I'll have to like keep watching this and see maybe Maybe there's a fix for it or something, but uh, yeah, I was in the middle of nowhere here, you know, trying to explore a little bit. And when I arrived at this media, it just kind of like stopped working. Kind of made my way down from our like base here and just trying to explore. Speaking of base, last episode we tried to use the building gadgets mod to, you know, create our base. What is that over there? Is that a creeper? Oh yeah, he's in front of like a tree with fruits or something, it just looks weird. Um, it's probably super dark anyway. Let's put this in offhand, maybe. Although I might spam torches now if I try to jump around. Oh no, I can't, I can't place torches with, with the sword, can I? Yeah, I think it like blocks it. Um, yeah, we tried to do the building gadget thing and... You know, uh, the, the tiny house worked, the big house not so much. I did clean up the mess. And I did update to zero, uh, to 2.6, like the latest version of building gadgets to see if I could use that, you know, external uh, inventory. Ooh, is that a new village again? But unfortunately that didn't work. Wait, is it this village or? No, I think there's something in between here. Is that even a village? I don't think that's a village, that's something else. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. Like I, you have to like shift right click an inventory, I believe, with your building, building gadget, but it doesn't tie anything to it. Um, and I ran into some other problems then too, where the... Oh, that's not good. Nope, that's not good. Can I get out of here? Uh, Skeleton, please, please don't. Other problems where um, the... You know when you like... Oh, come on, game. When you hold like shift over a uh, over the building edge, it shows you what materials you have to use. It didn't seem to work with my patterns. I thought it's maybe because I built this in the previous version and then tried to load it in the new version, but I tried to recreate a template in the new version too and it just doesn't work, so I don't know. I don't know what's up. So I had to kind of like guess <laughs> what kind of items I had. And instead of using an external storage, the uh, the mod already had support to, for the dank null. Apparently, you can use dank null to pull out the, you know, the building items and such. So I made a dank null out of diamonds, not too expensive, a little bit of diamonds and coal. We have quite a few, few diamonds. I thought you died, um, and made one. And that thing is awesome because you can store so many like blocks in here, right? And I should probably make this the default block, maybe. And yeah, so I just made like a bunch of wood and everything, and tried to. You know, build my house. I had to take it down a couple of times, but with the undo button, it wasn't too bad. Like, it actually worked this time. Because I didn't place it, like, twice or something. So, you know, took a while, but yeah, we have our blacksmith there now, so we can finally move stuff over there. I started to move some things. I put the smeltery up here, uh, up there. And, yeah, we can probably, like, get started maybe with immersive engineering or something. And just keep expanding on that. Two chests. One is a trap chest. Are you... Like, hooked up to a trap? No, okay. What's inside? Spider webs. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave this there for a second. Anything in here? Anything in here? You know, I should probably had... I probably should have uh, restarted my game. Because I've been playing all day. <laughs> I mentioned that I wanted to build, like, a mega base, right? Let's grab these here. And so I started to build in a second world. And I think I've been at there for like eight hours today. And yeah, the game has been running for eight hours. So maybe should have restarted. We'll see. Looks like that was some sort of cult here or something. It looks creepy. That's obsidian. That is so weird. What were these people doing? Spooky stuff. Is there anything else in this place? It looks fancy, but I'm not seeing too much else. Maybe on the other side or something, but anyway, let's double check the map here. So this covers kind of this part, right? Looks like it. And then, yeah, I think we just can head back. You can see the building up there now. Let's head back to our base and I'll show you what I built there and also make it daytime. 
Well, I just made it back and apparently it's not nighttime anymore. <laughs> Even though it's like super bright still, what the hell? Uh, oh god, we have so much stuff on us again. Yeah, I need to still decorate this place, you know, like come up with stuff here. Uh, found an air charm, so that's kind of cool. I found like a couple of caves where I just like went inside and grabbed some things. That I found another air charm, a couple of these like, uh, uh, what is that, nu nuclear craft stuff, so yeah. No, I'm not sure if that's anything good, but you know, we have it, so that's something. Put away these torches there. All right, let's go check it out. There might still be mobs around here. There probably are mobs around here. This is a pretty dangerous place, unfortunately. I see an enderman. I kind of want to go kill it. Is he is he outside? No, I think there's like a cave system below here. Oh, wait, yeah, here. Maybe we should check this out real quick. Because it would be kind of neat. That guy has a lot of armor. But he's only, he, do, he only has a weak bow, so it's not too bad. Yeah, his bow isn't very good, but this guy... That was not good. I died to an enderman before. <laughs> okay, I think we're good though. The... Yeah, we don't have any torches left, huh? Okay, that's fine. We got two pearls though, so that's good. I did put a little bit more... Lapis on my sword, it's not completely full yet, but you know, we gotta upgrade this a little bit so we get more looting. But yeah, let's go take a look at the building over here. It's finally done. Ignore the death marker, I should probably delete it if that's a death marker. Probably. There it is! Now, like I said, mostly, uh, you know, oak and stuff. This one uses a bit of spruce here though. And this should be relatively safe, I think I lit everything up. So we have a bit of a porch here, we can also enter from this side. And the main door is on this side here. Maybe I'll put another one over there, I'm not sure. You know, pretty decent amount of room, I think, to work with at the beginning. Like, we can move our IC2 machines in here. Probably a bunch of uh, immersive engineering stuff. And then here is a little bit of the, like a, you know, like a smithing area. We have the, uh, the smell tree back here now. And of course our chest again. We have all the pattern stuff here. Our crafting table is in the floor here now. And a little exit to the back here as well. So, yeah, it works pretty well. Um... There were some couple of blocks still missing, like the stairs up here. Didn't spawn in properly, but you know, besides that, everything seems to be in place. This area here, I'm like so so about. I just didn't know what to do with this. Ugh, let's get up here. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how to connect this properly, but uh, I, I, you know, I base my buildings off a lot of like other things I see online. Like I always Google for like Minecraft blacksmith, and then I see what they do. And I try to kind of recreate it in a similar style, but, you know, try to make it my own or something a little bit. But they also had, like, this little corner piece, but this looks much better because they have a different type of roof. And it doesn't, like, completely connect, though, for them. But I don't like it if it's not connected, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. I think it's fine. But it... it I don't know. For some reason, it looks unfinished. <laughs> I might have to... Have to, like, try it one more time or something. Try to change it. Actually, one thing that might already look better, now I think about this. Let me go up there. Uh, eh. Did I? Oh, I got the things, but they go in here, right here. They all get collected. If we move this lock, like, sideways, so it's lying on there. Yep, yeah, that already did something. It's not amazing still, but it did something. What if I... Yeah, you know what? I like that slightly less, uh, more, I guess. So, we'll leave it like this. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and then there's a bunch of stuff here still I need to move and such, but uh, yeah, we can do this another time. Oh, here you can see if I take this and hold shift, this is what you see <laughs> right now. So I'm not sure how to fix that, unfortunately, but yeah. So let's maybe take a look at the quest, right? Like we had to make uh, tree woods and that kind of stuff a few times now. So I think it's just a good idea to get into this stuff, right? We can also get into nuclear craft. I want to check this out too. See if we can somehow get these materials we need. Oh, we get four advanced platings from this. Wait, what? H how expensive is this guy? Do you need advanced platings? No, you don't. We have a, we have some of these things. I found them. I'm pretty sure. And that's just lead. Oh, we gotta go do this. Um, yeah, everything is still at my old base. I guess we should move things over here. The best way we could do this probably. Oh yeah, my backpack is in here. Is use cardboard boxes maybe, right? And just like. Grab all of our storage items. Wait, it's this way. I would think it's this way, but it's like the opposite. <laughs> the, uh, this, the, the village. 
Yeah, so, okay, let's go do this real quick instead. I'm gonna go see if I can grab a lot of our stuff and, you know, move it over here so we have everything back here. And then maybe we'll check out that uh, uh, nuclear craft so we can make that RTG that gives us a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, power, you know? All right, almost reorganized. Just brought all the stuff over here, trying to put things into proper places and seems to be pretty good. We have some boxes in here now. Tiny coal we really don't need. I guess I'll just dump this in here. So IC2 is back. It's doing a thing. Still think that this is wasting power. We should probably figure fix this somehow later on. And yeah, then we have our storage again here. Probably improve this later, of course. Uh, furnace stuff and I put the little you know the stomper thing into this corner and this the uh, the drying base into here and we should probably automate this with hoppers and such too in fact do we have some extra spare hoppers a uh, where would they be though maybe in a this box nope they could be anywhere I think we have some yes we do so we only need two really right uh should we also put a chest there maybe let's grab a chest not a trap one Look how many chests we have over stack, <laughs> just from like raiding towns. And what we could do here is might not look super pretty, but I suppose we could do something like this. Hopefully this works with the trying base, and I'm actually not sure. And then like this, right? So do we have some extra? What is that? Rotten flesh or something to check it out? Uh, yes. Wow, lots of it. Lots of it. I guess from all the zombies we killed in a desert. Isn't that how you make it? Wait, am I... Oh. Yeah, it is, but... Okay, it... Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. It just pulls it out right away. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, do we have filtered hoppers? No. I guess we need to get it to pipes or something. Okay, well that doesn't work for now then. I suppose we could just put this guy here then and have a hop on top, maybe. Hmm, that's too bad. It would, would have been neat if we could automate this easily. Yeah, and then we would, would have to pull it out. Okay, we'll do it another time. Alright, just slept and uh, also our bee stuff is out here now. So just collecting this stuff here so we can do this a bit easily, more easily as well. Um, and we have some couple of extra chests here. Oh yeah, the piece can was there, and let's see, what's in here? Is it all of them? Nope, there's five. That's that crafting thing, but this is our generator too. Oh, and one thing I th uh, thought about that was silly, maybe you guys will have commented on this as well, because like I said, I'm recording in advance, so I'm not obviously seeing the comments right away. You know, we made a battery to charge stuff. We got this guy from one of the quests or something. This guy can just, you know, be charged too, so... Should have just gotten this. You know what? Let's uh, knock out this window too. And just place a normal thing there. And we're gonna set up our like coal generators here. Because this guy also can be charged or has a thing here to charge, right? I think. I think he can charge this in there. So yeah, if we go to try this again. Both of those. Fill that thing up. And it probably also maybe holds more. Can we see this? This is a million IF. This is, what was it, 4 million? Uh, 40 million, okay. Oh, in? Set all sides to accept, there we go. Yeah, you can charge in there as well. So, maybe kind of silly, but you know, I um, guess I'll put it in here for now so we can charge things in here as well. But yeah, let's maybe go try to make this manufactory and just get it out of the way because then we can get that stuff, right? The uh, advanced plating and then, and then make this. So just piston, yeah, let ingots might still have some. And we do have this weird copper device, right? Where would that be? Somewhere in here. Um, there it is. I know you can search by it if I use my bar at the bottom, but it's like a mini game. I mentioned this in Stormblock 2. I just like to find things. And there's some flint. And then we have some crafting tables here. Boom! A handy machine that has many uses. Okay. But this opens up, you know. Oh, it's a choice. Yeah, we definitely get the advanced one. This opens up um, nuclear craft, which is interesting because I want to try this out. But this is the stuff I want because now we have enough advanced plating. So it's actually enough right here to make the RTG, right? With our little piece of plutonium, which is this guy. We could find this californium. That'd be amazing. 
you can't really make this, right? You have to, like, kind of find it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and that's then just graphite bites, uh, bars. Okay, let's go cook up four of those. There we go. Plutonium RTG. Can I hold this in my hand? It's totally fine. So we actually don't need these guys anymore. We can rearrange this, and I hope this keeps the power if I break it. I'm gonna assume yes. Put this next to this, and this just charges it, right? Free of charge, so to speak. <laughs> uh, so... Yes, I laugh at my own stupid jokes. Put this guy here, maybe. And set this to in again. Looking at the tooltip at the top. Unless this guy is currently training at all. I think so, yeah. And then once that guy is full, this guy will charge up. Nice! And then we have this manufactory, which we can put up here for now, to also get power. Actually, this one is... This one is getting powered. Not sure why this guy isn't currently. Hmm, strange. But this one is getting powered, and yeah, I've seen, sometimes it shows up as like a valid thing, uh, thing for something. It looks like we can actually also duplicate ores with this. How fast is that? If I dump this in here, wow, okay, that drains a lot of power though. It uses up to a thousand speed multiplier. Okay, that's pretty good though, right? Uh, it kind of stopped now. Does it have to fill up? Yeah, it has to go to like a certain amount. Interesting, so we could do that too if we wanted to. And then let's look at uh, uh, the quest book here. Welcome to Nuka Craft. It's a mod about all, all about generating power. Cool. Detect. And it did like a reward thing. Not sure what it is. Oh, I have to claim it still. It unlocks something. Has begun nuclear quest line. I think that's just to like inform people on the server to tell you that you're doing it. Uh, oh, we get a second quest for this. Okay. It's used for crafting component in some recipes. Interesting. Now we have speed upgrades, salt mixer, machine interface, ingot former. Okay. And then down here is platings, I'm guessing. Yeah, basic platings. How much do you need me to make? Don't we have one? Or is it just elite? I think I guess we just only have just uh, just elite. We don't have any of the other ones. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to dive into this yet. But that's definitely an interesting mod I want to check out at one point. Uh, what we really want to check out, though, is, of course, immersive engineering, and then we also should get started with forestry. Uh, one thing I would like to get into is RF tools, but it looks like you have to go through industrial foregoing, because I still wonder if we can make, make the storage stuff, the storage modular things, and it just needs, like, some of these machines, it looks like, so that'd be awesome. Yeah, for remote stuff, we need the machine framed up, which requires some stuff, but... You know, at least for uh, having a way to store our stuff early on might be pretty neat. So, yeah, we could actually make this right now. But I'd rather use, like, this or something, right? So, maybe maybe let's do, go do this first then. Because since that is also the gate, the sturdy casing. What do we get from that? Oh, an Aquas accumulator? That's pretty neat. Bronx is pretty neat too, though. But I might get the... How expensive is the Aquas accumulator? Uh, maybe not too bad, to be honest, but... Hmm, it's actually not that expensive. Anyway, let's just make this stuff first. So, sturdy casing. It was just a bunch of copper... Copper gears, bronx, ingots, bronx... Uh, stuff. We have a ton of bronx here. And I guess we have to use our gear cast. Do we have a gear cast? No, we have to make the gear cast still, which I think we can just make with stone. So let's grab some... That's gravel. <laughs> some stone here. Stone gear! Oh, wait, there's two versions. I'm guessing that's four wood. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So you can kind of, like, skip a step, I guess. Oh, game. Just need one. That's all I need. And then, actually, we also need some aluminum brass, if I still have some. I should do... Somewhere. Really? Oh, it's right here. No, it's gold. Why is gold in here? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Aluminum brass. My ingots are a little bit unorganized still, but hey, we might not even have to organize them, right? And a gear, I think, is four, right? Like how much? Yeah, it's four ingots. Yeah, four ingots. And then that's also four ingots. Interesting. I was wondering if it becomes cheaper later. So let's make a couple. You know what? Let's just do all of them. Because why not, right? And then we go do the cast first. Because we'll need them anyway, and it's always good to make some extras. Okay, you know what? Actually, let's just make half. Because it's it, it is Bronx after all. It's uh, it's a little bit expensive. So, oh yeah, that's we didn't need to make that many. Um, did we get the cast? Yes. 
while that is cooking, let's make a redstone clock. I think we can make it. We just need four of these advanced redstone torches. I don't know what they do. Let's take a look. Can you right click them? Yes, you can def determine what strengths and apparently two different colors. That's kind of cool. Maybe that comes in handy. And then we just need a bit of sky stone block, which I'm cooking up here right now. There we go. And that should be it because we found a bunch of these resonating crystals before. There we go. And that's just going to make it a bit easier for us to automate our smeltery, right? So I can just put this... Uh, I guess I have to remove these guys and put this up here. And then we'll just keep auto casting like this. And we should also grab a lever so we can shut this off if we don't need it anymore. Alright, that should be everything we need for the sturdy casing. So we get two each. Let's just make all of them. <laughs> because I'm sure we'll need them, right? So that should finish up the quest. Right, sturdy casing. And, ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just get this. Bronx I can get sort of easily, right? This is a bit, a bit of a bigger craft, so I'll, I'll get the Aquas Accumulator. That means we can get, like, infinite water really easily. And there's forestry. Um, we should probably set up a forestry farm at one point if we can. We have the power and stuff to do it. Might be kind of fun, you know? Uh, can I get this? Oh, wait. Oh, that's a command. Okay, claim. Thank you. And then, yeah, carpenter, clockwork engine. That's like a hand crank engine, fermenter, etc. So we'll look into this eventually. But yeah, now we could make the modular storage, right? So I'm really curious if we can do this because that would be awesome. Because we have the, we have the, uh, the passive power generation, and that should hopefully be enough. If not, I'll be sad. But let's go grab some chests here. One of our many. Oh, that is a button apparently. Uh, I still got it though. We just gotta make one for now because I want to check it out, right? There we go. And then we need a RF tool storage card, but these are also cheap. That's just a chest, gold nuggets, iron, etc. So not a big deal either. And then you can just keep upgrading them. Uh, quartz, missing more quartz. I only have three. No, there's a bunch here. It's all over the place. I'm gonna get organized later. But there's one, and I think you just upgrade this with gold next. And the bigger they, they are, the more you can store, of course. And then this one is gold block and quartz block and redstone block. Is that worth it? Yeah, probably. There we go. Level three. So now we should be able to move this mess here. Uh, I would actually, you know what might be smart? If we do it like this... Oh, but you don't output, do you? Okay, how... Mm, set all sides. I'm not sure how I can set to... Like, can you just change one side? I'm not sure, because I was thinking that I could keep charging it. Oh, what I could do is just replace those two. Because this way we have, like, two devices to pull power from. Or three devices to pull power from, right? Like, I can put something here now, here, here, here. And even in front if I want to. But let's put down this guy. And we put in a storage device. And now we have storage. Yes. Oop, not this one. And let's change the view. Uh, where do you do this again? Here. There we go. And yeah, my name might be fine. And yeah, we can just dump things in here. I'm not exactly sure how big this is. But this should be pretty good. Let's also check out our reward. Oh, a speed upgrade for mechanism. I'm sure it will be... Useful eventually. Um, I guess it's 300 stacks. Okay. So I think I would store like a lot of like my resources that I would use for crafting maybe. All right, there we go. So with our ingots and such, we are about halfway there. Let's sort of buy... No, come on. We can group it together like this. So we could sort of buy something else. I think you need... Uh, you need a different card for that. Uh, but doesn't matter. And we can also do a bit of crafting in here, right? So that's awesome. Now, another thing then is to get into immersive engineering. So we just need to make a bunch of coke bricks. I think we need 27. So I did uh, grind down some of this uh, bone stuff using the, the manufacturer. You get six each, which is great. And if you can combine this with... Do I not have my clay in here? I guess I don't. I should have some in there, right? No? Okay. Did I use up this much? Yes, because I made some bricks here. Oh, wait. There's some stuff here too. Okay, I thought there was maybe more clay, but there's not. But um, 
Yeah, if you grab the clay, there it is. <laughs> I think there was a stack in there actually. And we just make, let's make eight maybe. How, no, how much do we need? We get three pair, right, for four. So we need nine, so we need uh, 36. So let's see how many we can make. Uh, eight times, now let's make one, two, three, four. Let's just see if we can get 27 and boom. There we go, we, no, wait. Oh, we need one more set of bricks, okay. I can do this. But that also finished the quest already. Do we get, oh, we get all of this. We get a tank, we get an item pump, or a fruit pump, I mean, and we get some iron plates, that's really good. That is really good indeed. And that opened up also extra utility, apparently, and we already made the machine block for it at one point for the furnace, I guess. Oh, and we get stuff, hmm. Two water mills. I don't know, how expensive are water mills? Do we want these yet? That's just stone burn, which I think should be easy, right? That machine is not that expensive either. Oh, it's steel and advanced circuitry. I don't think upgrade, yeah, these don't really help us if we don't have GP. And this one is for like a mob farm, which I don't really care about yet. So I guess I'll get the water mills, yeah, might as well. All right, so that opened that up. So if you go to massive engineering, do we get free stuff here too? We get a hammer and manual, which is nice. And then probably needs me to make 27 of those. Indeed. So we can make this now. Boom, there's 27. Detect, please. Please. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go back. Let's grab the middle one again. Always go for the middle one. Why not? Uh, you know, I love better questing, but this book sure is a bit funky sometimes. Did it work? Oh, it did work. And then treat of what we already got, because we grabbed it from the village. So let's grab this one as well. And that's cool. So we want to also make a blast furnace, but the blast brick, I think, requires uh, blaze powder, right? Yes, but only one in the middle. And then nether brick. I didn't find a nether fortress, I don't think, but we could just melt it up if we want to. Uh, might be easier to try and find another fortress, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna melt it up. It's just gonna be so much quicker right now. And while that is going, let's open up our loot boxes. Ooh, this is pretty good. Produces more power from those coils generator thingies. Okay, and cobwebs. Uh, actually, maybe I should keep them. I was about to turn them into string, but maybe I should keep them. Ah, oh, we have so many though. <laughs> okay, but maybe let's set up the, the coke brick already. Uh, uh, while the thing is like cooking here. Do we actually have blazes or blaze rods or blaze powder or something? Now I think about this, that might be the more complicated thing. Yeah, we have cinder pearls that gives us blaze powder. Okay, cool. Uh, now, where do we want to put up the immersive engineering stuff? Probably outside, maybe behind here. I think I'll take down the dirt a little bit because the thing is kind of in the way. The street can probably stay there. Like, just like even this out a little bit here and then we have more room to mess with as well. All right, that should be good. And the nice thing is they're gonna fit in here really nicely in these three by three areas. So we can just dump them in there. And if we wanted to, we could even like get access to them, I guess, from inside. We dig a hole or something, but boom, there we go. We got our Coke oven, so I have a stack of coal. This will slowly turn our coal into coal coal. And then also produce creosote oil. If you just want creosote oil, we could also use locks in here. But having a cold coke would be nice, just so we can also make steel. But one thing I want to check out real quick, what even like is a good way to make steel in this pack? I haven't really looked into this yet. There is steel dust, can't make. This one we can make, which manufacturer, nope. Because sometimes there are ways to make steel in a mm, sort of simpler way, I suppose. Like we can melt it, we can alloy it with, oh, there you go. So coal, you can actually mul uh, melt down coal and iron in the smeltery and get steel. That is pretty easy to do. And now of course the coke oven, or the, the blast furnace I mean. Alloy furnace, which is a piece of dust and a piece of graphite. Or coal dust, oh no, it's the same thing. It's just like you'd save a little bit on coal, on coal I guess. This is coal coke. Uh, this is a good one. Not too difficult to make, maybe, yeah. Hmm, maybe that might be the best. Because, like, the, the blast furnace is pretty slow. There's a blast furnace, of course, from... 
IC2. I forgot if this just... I think this requires some heat source or something, right? I don't remember how this works. But yeah, it looks like the the nuclear craft machine might be the best there. All right, I went back to the desert to grab a couple more because we actually need seven. I only had six, so here we go. Seven blaze powder. And while I'm cooking up some bricks, one thing I want to make as well, I should have done a while ago, is the bottle, uh, time in the bottle. Uh, this will slowly collect time while it's in our inventory. And then we can use it to speed up machines with this, which is really cool. And then it like kind of, you know, it consumes the... Uh, the time in there to speed up stuff, which is really neat. Uh, you guys mentioned this during uh, What's it called storm block to make this and yeah, that thing is amazing. I'm so glad I discovered this now Or oh, you guys told me about it rather <laughs> Oh, and also if you like start the Extra utilities quest line here. I think we get a free reward because yeah two even because we made this stuff. Oh, that's just level probably be wasting those uh, but we get a loot chest here and yeah, that's cool. Do I get? Did I not? I did climb it. Okay. Let's see what we get. A random animal. Okay. Eight of them. Interesting. You know what we can do to make a pretty good food farm? Now I think about this. If we grab some of our spawners here, I can't tell which is which. We can do this by using a uh, command. That's the zombie spawner. That's a cave spider one. Good. Let's put away those two if we just place this i think although i'm not sure if these animal eggs work differently we'll, we'll find out uh can i turn this into an animal spawner no okay ah shoot if it's a vanilla spawn egg you can actually modify these guys but i guess with the animania stuff it doesn't work oh well stop laughing at me oh wait wait we need nine not seven i can do math there we go point point there it is. Blast Furnace. And I'm, I think that was a quest too, right? Yes. Free rewards. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. And then that's the advanced one. We'll do that later. Let's open it up. Advanced computer. Hmm. Might be interesting to use. And we're just going to put this guy next to the Coke oven over here. And yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be using this for steel, but you know, it's nice to have it. Because like I said, the uh, I think the other machine would be a bit better. Did I make too many? Or did I misplace one? Okay, I just took it down and built it again. I guess I missed one at the back. But there it is. So now we can take the coal coke from here. We can go get our iron. And actually, is it a one-to-one? -one? I totally forgot if it is. Yeah, yeah it's one-to-one. -one. And you get slack. I'm not sure if the slack is important for anything in this. Like, we can make concrete, which lets us run fast. But, ooh, fighter grows. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's anything that we need, so I think, like I said, the other machine would probably be better, but let's just make it anyway. So put those two in here, boom, and then over a long period of time, this will turn into steel. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it here for today. Um, next episode, we might check out the, the pipe section here, so we can make uh, Xnet cables. I've never used Xnet, but it looks very interesting. It's also by, you know, McJitty. So, might be worth exploring, but it also unlocks thermodynamic stuff. So then we could have some proper pipes and just, you know, automate some things a little bit better. That wouldn't be bad. And maybe start some magic up, you know, just so we have it going. I think the earlier you do this, the better. Because you get so many benefits sometimes from these magic mods. That might be kind of cool, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to do some more organization here because everything is a big mess. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.